So I'll read you the, um, the synopsis here. Yeah. They say the Messiah is alive. He is living in New York, sleeping with men, impregnating women, euthanizing the dying, healing the sick, defying the government and condemning the holy. This is uh, a new book by uh, James Fry called The Final Testament of the Holy Bible. Oh, okay. In this book, Jesus Christ is alive today. That's right. In it, Jesus Christ uh, lives in modern day New York. He is alive today? Yes, yes. Where is he? He impregnates women without being married. He takes drugs. He has sex with men. No, Jesus Christ. Really. And he has sex with men in this book. No, 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 I don't think so. No, in this book, it's true. So Jesus Christ lived in New York, having homosexual sex and doing drugs and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, that's completely against, I mean, what's written in the Bible anyway. Do you find this book offensive? Yes. Well, as a Christian, I suspect I would find it a bit of a challenge. Um, yeah, I'd say it's blasphemous. Is it a fiction or...? It's fiction, yeah. Yeah, I think it's really bad. I would want to advise the person, what's his name? James Free. James Free. To so go and read the Bible. Would you read this book? Because you can only make comment on things you've read. You would say before he does anything, he should actually read he should, the Bible. He should actually read the Bible. Would Would you read this book? I, I wouldn't read it in the first place. Have you read this book, uh, Salman Rushdie's Satanic Verses? Well, this is a, a, another controversial book for Christians. It's called Origin of the Species by uh, Charles Darwin. Salman Rushdie, yeah. he's like a psycho. He's a psycho? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you met him? No. Oh. Which do you find more ridiculous, this book or that James Fry? All of them together. I condemn what he said. What did, what did he say then? I, I don't remember. All ignorance. They talk out of ignorance, out of what they don't yeah. know. Yeah. Have you read this book? No, I didn't read it. Have I've you, not read this one. You haven't read this book? Would you read it just to just to make sure to see if you really do disagree with it? I, I, you don't, sometimes you don't really need to read into things. All you have to do is know about it. Can you just give us your verdict from the budget? Well, I think it was certainly a politically skillful budget. It was a pretty dull budget in many ways. It's a car pleaser, a crowd pleaser, Jeremy Clarkson budget. Uh, have I read all the documents? Uh, no. Uh, in full? No, not yet. Of no. course I haven't read it in its entirety. How do you feel about the recent student fees legislation? This is destruction of our rights, you know, education yeah. is a right. Do so you think it's the, the bill is wrong? I think, the, I think the bill is wrong, yeah. Have you read the bill? I haven't read the bill, no. But I don't see how there's any way that it, it could be considered good. Do you reckon it's a good read, though? Um, I haven't read the whole thing. This is one of the most stupid, immoral, short-sighted, ridiculous bills I have ever seen. Do, have, you, have you read uh, the bill in its entirety? Now, as, I, as I'm a, not a student, no, I haven't. There's no way every MP reads every bill that they're voting on. I would be lying if I said I looked at every bill in detail. Are you comfortable voting on bills when you haven't read it? Yeah. Bill in its entirety. Yeah, you would certainly look at at the um, at the summaries. The synopsis. The synopsis. Yeah. So the you read read the blurb. Yeah. As it were. Yeah. The final testament of the Holy Bible by James Fry. Why don't you read it and judge for yourself? <laughs>